In this lesson, we continue to explore splines in 3D sketches by using wires on this engine model and also tubes or hoses. Let's get started with the spark plug wires. If we take a look at how the spark plug wires were created, we see they were made from a series of sweeps. Each spark plug wire is its own sweep. All three of the wires were made from the same sketch. 3D Sketch 1, you'll see, has been reused in each one of these three spark plug wires. So let's edit the sketch and see what's in it. The sketch starts with three straight lines and then three splines attaching the end of the straight lines to the end of the spark plug. The straight lines were created by creating a plane offset from the valve cover. And in this case, we can see that plane one, if we double click on it, was offset by a tenth of an inch from the face of the valve cover. This gives us enough space between the wire and the face of the valve cover so that the wires don't interfere with the valve cover. Once in the 3D sketch, plane one was double clicked. This gives us the grid, which shows us that we're sketching on that plane inside the 3D sketch. This allows us to sketch in a more constrained way with tools that are more familiar. So the straight lines work out well in this regard. By double clicking in blank space, we exit the mode where we're just sketching on the plane. And if I delete one of these splines, we can recreate it. Spline is drawn by just starting the sketch on one end of the straight line, zooming in, waking up the center point on the end of the spark plug, and double clicking to place that point. From here, we can select the spline and control select the straight line, make them tangent, and we can view the temporary axes. So go to the hide show items, the eyeglasses on the heads up view toolbar and click on view temporary axes. From here, I can click the axis and control click the spline and add a tangent relationship. Unfortunately, in this case, that doesn't work. SolidWorks is giving us an error. So I'll hit control Z to undo that. My next choice would be parallel, but that's not an option. So we'll fall back to a workaround. We'll use a construction line from the endpoint of the spline. Being careful not to pick up any secondary automatic relations. And we'll apply a collinear relationship between the construction line and the temporary axis. From here, we can create a tangent relationship between the construction line and the spline, and this works pretty well. Turn off the temporary axes to stop confusing the view so much, and tug on the handles to add weighting to the spline tangency. Just to make sure that the wires get up and clear the valve cover. From there, the sweeps were made in the traditional fashion by sketching a circle on a plane at the end of the sketch and sweeping it along the path. The hoses, in this case, were made in a similar fashion. Let's take the more complex of the two. And in this case, each hose has its own 3D sketch. Sweep 2 uses 3D sketch 1 and Sweep 3 uses 3D Sketch 2. Let's see how these were made. What makes this one more difficult is that it's a little longer and it has to change directions. You can't just use a two-point spline for this one. Let's go ahead and recreate this one as well. On some features, we have sketches that we can show so that on the compressor, we have a center point that is easily selected. Let's go ahead and create a spline. 
trying to pick points in space so that we don't create any additional relations. Wake up the edge and the spline at the center point with a double click. Okay, remember the four viewport setup. In this case, it might be best to use a top view. It's easier to do if you have a larger space to work with. Remember to hold control down while dragging these points so you don't pick up relationships to things in the background. What I'll do here is turn on the temporary axes. Let's make sure that the end point of the spline is located at the center of this part. Now we should see a black point. And now we'll go ahead and add that tangent relationship. It goes the wrong direction. We know how to deal with this already. Right click on the tangent relation and say flip relation. Let's do this on the other end as well. Select the temporary axis, control select the spline, add a tangent relationship. And now we look at the spline from the other points of view. Let's turn off those temporary axes. And we can raise up the hose as needed. And we can control the curvature, I think, maybe better without this point. We can relax this spline somewhat and create the hose like this. When we exit the sketch, the hoses are created in place.